have certain rules when it comes to pairing glassware, but I don't know if they are correct. So you've brought along some examples here, and tell us. Uh, Let's just start at the ground level. Sounds good. So Riedel is the brand of stemware, and these guys are the guys that pioneered varietal glassware. Okay. So it's glasses designed to make that specific grape taste the best it can taste. Now, does it make a difference to the everyday person to have these specific changes? Believe it or not, it makes a major difference. Really? Even the smell. Okay. And, and I'll explain a little bit how it goes. So we have some beautiful wine glasses here, three different kinds for three different grapes. I also brought what we call the Ooh. Joker glass. We're not locked in here. Okay, the and Joker so glass. What's the this, Joker glass? This is a non varietal, just a, a regular wine glass. Okay. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to pour a little bit of wine into this glass. Mm -hmm. We're going to smell it and see what we think about the smell. If it's intense, if it's, you know, pronounced, or if it's subtle. We've got a, a Pinot going on here, and uh, I'm sure what you smell will be more finely tuned than what I smell. So we got we got a little bit of like I call it the high acid spectrum of red berries. Okay. So like raspberries, uh, red currants, a little bit of sour cherry. I'm just kidding. Sour <laughs> cherry. Yes, I'm listening. But it, it smells pretty good. Now take this big glass, which yeah. we call the bucket. This is the the burgundy glass, which is designed for Pinot Noir. So we know how it smells in here. It smells pretty good. Yeah. Let's pour it into that glass. Looks beautiful. It does look beautiful. It feels fantastic in your hand. It's balanced so well. Now, first things first, with stemware, you do not touch the actual glass. You should never touch this part unless you're washing it. Okay, got it. Um, that's why wine glasses have a stem. Swishy, it's swishy. Swishy, swishy. And the reason why you don't touch that part of the glass is you're going to change the temperature of the wine very, very quickly. Okay. As well, we've all been to that party where Do later on in glass. the night you look at the <laughs> glass and you're like, was I playing in a I, sandbox? I hate french fries tonight. <laughs> totally. And they're all over my glass. It's happened to the best of us. Okay, so do we swish around or do we kind of tip it? Swish first to get the, the, the aromatics openness. going. And now just take a, a smell. Hold it on a bit of an angle and stick your nose right inside that glass and take some quick short sniffs. It does smell different. Quite a bit bigger, a little fruitier. This, this glass is actually designed because Pinot Noir is a high acid red wine. Yeah. Kind of lower in fruit. So, this glass with this big fat belly and this taper in, to get anything out of this glass, it forces you to tilt your head back. Uh -huh. When you tilt your head back, the tip of the tongue automatically comes up. So, the first contact in this glass is on the very, very tip of your tongue. How technical. It's crazy, hey? Yes. And so, if I pour myself a glass in something like this that's nice and wide and open, will that actually open up the wine more quickly? It does open it up more quickly. This actually will hold 1,200 milliliters, so over a bottle. Um, the fill line is down here, just right You're down there. You're speaking my language, Michael. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's, it's not so you don't have to fill it up as much. <laughs> All this area to, gets the smell going. Right. It's kind of perfect. Okay. Let's try it with the Bordeaux. Let's go for it. So, Pinot Noir. Now, Bordeaux is Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. So, a little bit um, bigger style of wine. Mm -hmm. And it's going in the Bordeaux glass. So, first we're going to try it in the Joker glass, see okay. if we can smell anything. And... It's there, but it's not really that fruity. No, it isn't. Now let's try it in I the big glass. I agree with you. Okay. It actually smells a little bit astringent. We only in have that glass. time for this last one, oh, okay. so let's get to it. We spent we spent a lot of time on the Pinot. We did. Oh. Oh, that does smell incredibly different. Way more different. open. So Rito, there there's a glass for every every wine. Yeah. Um, and it really does make a huge difference. This weekend, I'm actually we're actually auctioning off a, a Riedel tasting for ten. By yourself. By myself at Willow Park Wines and Spirits. In it's a fundraiser for the Alex Community Center, which Wonderful. is a beautiful charity. Great, there it is on Saturday, seven to nine. We're going to continue to explore the glass.